Dylan White beats the out of Povek and then knocks him out in the fourth round. Great fight. <laughs> Great fight. Not too many people expected Dylan to be as aggressive as he was, but yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. Round one, both men came out throwing bombs. Dylan managed it. He grazed Povekin with a couple shots, and Povekin was his balance was all over the place. Stumbling all over the place. Dylan started throwing more bombs, trying to take him out. Povekin was ducking, trying to throw his own bombs as well. <laughs> Even through the the balance issues, he was still trying to throw shots to you. But yeah, Dylan had the better of the of the exchange, even though he wasn't really landing anything. But Povekin was stumbling. As, as I said, his balance was was messed up in my opinion that's because Dylan roughed him up because then just he just set up at him from get-go one thing I said I was gonna look out for during this fight was the the gloves touching situation because Povekin he loves to touch gloves before a round after the round before the fight after he, he, listen I'm personally not with that all that gloves touching you listen you touch gloves before the fight after the fight that's about it what's with the touching gloves after every round and listen we're here to fight Punch, no, no, no gloves touching. Anyways, after round one, Dylan just walked straight to his corner. So the Povetkin, to be fair, he didn't, he didn't attempt to touch gloves. But round two starts, Povetkin steps to him. Guess what he does? He extends his arm. Dylan wasn't having none of it. Commenced with the punching. White was just basically jabbing, catching him with a bunch of straight shots this round. Povetkin's eyes started bruising from what I recall. And yeah, he was struggling to close the distance. White was just keeping him... On the outside of a jab and yeah the round ends a clear dylan white round the round ends but can try to touch gloves <laughs> again dylan wasn't having none of it <laughs> he walked right to his corner and yeah round three starts Povekin um extends his arm for another gloves touch dylan reluctantly does it listen i think i think um watching back on the footage dylan probably saw this guy trying to lure him into a, a, a full sense of security that's probably how he managed to another element into how he managed to get that shot off because what's with the excessive gloves touching we're here to fight perfecting's a bit too noble for me he's always been like that throughout his career very very noble fighter <laughs> it's no dirt to him whatsoever everything is clean clean boxing well apart from the 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 PD, <laughs> PD stuff, yeah. In the ring, he's 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 boxing. It's not really, it's not really a rough kind of. It's not, it's not a dirty fighter. So round three starts. This time, um, Povekin extends his arm and Dylan reluctantly touches gloves with him. And yeah, <laughs> commence with the punches again. Why is um, jabbing him to the body, loading up on big big shots, overhand right. He he chucked one overhand right that caught Povekin square right on the button but Povekin was perfectly balanced when the, when the shot landed and he kind of didn't budge him he took that shot really well for an old man I thought I thought whatever Dylan from from what you saw in round one and from the previous fight I thought whatever whatever solid shot called Povekin he was going down but he took that shot really well man Dylan was just boxing behind the jab loading up on big shots occasionally and yeah Povekin still had balance issues for the whole of the fight. Povekin was out there looking like a babushka from from the start of the fight, but I really noticed it. It was really bad in round three. He was looking really bad, like mid at the midway point of round three. He looked really babushka like. Yeah, retirement was calling. The round was on the wall by that point. So round four starts. I think Dylan hurt him early, but he kept. He played it safe. I think he rocked him. Povekin retreated to the ropes or something, but Dylan played it safe and then he caught him again, bounced him off the ropes, and then when Povekin bounced towards Dylan again, um, Dylan caught him with a nice right hand, I think, right hand, and Povekin, he rocked, nah, yeah, right hand on the temple that rocked Povekin, and then he caught him with his, his signature left hook, cleaned him out. Povekin fell on the ropes, and that was all she wrote for Sasha Povekin. Dylan White, I want Dylan White, I want Dylan White. It's time. <laughs> nah, let me let me stop. Let me stop. He has been a a uh, he has been a certain time. He's like man, the dude obsessed with me, man. He feel like he feel like he he act like we 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 went together and uh and and we had a bad breakup. He can't get over me. Maybe I had some good or something. I don't know. Listen, they're talking Deontay Wilder. <laughs> Dylan's talking Trevor Bryan. That's what I think's happening next for him.
who do you guys want to see him fight next <laughs> it's looking in my opinion it's looking like trevor bryan in 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 america that's if don king lets him out the cage if you pay probably if you pay don king what he wants he'll probably let trevor bryan give up his belt so it's looking like um white bryan in somewhere in america probably texas in in the summer if don king gets paid enough because i don't see this come on man what why does not why not want to fight Dylan 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 why that's not gonna happen they're not even though um dylan's in the in the more advantageous position it's still not gonna happen it's too much risk they don't want to imagine a back-to-back defeat that's just gonna yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's he's gonna be doing a lot more than posting Instagram dodgy Instagram photos. If you get if you get what I mean, yeah, he's gonna he's, he's probably that's probably gonna tip him over the edge this time. Back to back defeat. So yeah, Wilder's not taking a Dylan White fight. That's not happening. It's probably gonna be Trevor Bryan in America. The funny thing is, these clowns like Wilder and Andy Ruiz Jr. They were so quick to react when Dylan lost the first time. Wilder talking about his karma. When are you getting your karma back on on Fury? When are you fighting Fury? When do you when do you even does Wilder even still fight? And is he gonna react? Is he gonna call? Um, does he still want the Dylan fight? What what's going on? When Dylan had a fight booked, you want Dylan, Dylan, White, 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 I want Dylan, Dylan White, White? I want Dylan White. I want Dylan White. Dylan White. <laughs> now what? Do you still want Dylan White or what's up? Guys, all crickets. What's he? Come out of hiding and call him out again, innit? Dylan's free. He's free now. What's up? As usual, do your thing in the comment section below. Like, subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification bell when I'm out.